Hi, this is Sherry Crabtree. I am a horticulture research and extension associate at Kentucky State University, and today we're out in the pawpaw orchards at Kentucky State University's Research and Demonstration Farm, and our pawpaws are in full bloom. It's about April 22nd, and so we're going to show you today how to hand pollinate pawpaw trees. Just turn the camera around, take a look around our orchard. We have about 12 acres of pawpaws. This is um, one of our orchards that has the variety Sunflower and Susquehanna. And as you can see, they're in full bloom right now. So we're going to do a little bit of hand pollination. A lot of people have um, pawpaw trees that are too far separated for them to be able to pollinate each other. Pawpaws need to um, cross pollinate to set fruit. So if you don't have good fruit set, you may not have another tree in close enough vicinity for the flies to be able to go from tree to tree and cross pollinate. So what you can do is hand pollinate your trees. You can also do this if you're wanting to make a specific cross. Say so you have two varieties you really like, um, you know, sunflower and NC1 are your two favorite varieties. And you want to do a little um, dabbling at home. You can try to make a cross of those two varieties, plant the seed, and then see what you get from it. So first, this is a sunflower tree. And you want to find a flower that is just starting to shed pollen, like this one. You can see the pollen in the middle starting to kind of loosen up and be shed. We have little small paint brushes like this you can get just at, you know, Walmart, Kmart, wherever. Um, and we are going to gather some of the pollen. I'll try to get underneath it. Um, you know, gather some of this pollen on the paintbrush. So we're just kind of dabbing the paintbrush on the middle of the flower where the pollen is. And you can see we have pollen grains on the end of our paintbrush. And I'm going to take this to a Susquehanna tree. We're going to make a cross of um, sunflower and Susquehanna today. So this is a Susquehanna tree in our orchard, another excellent variety. And what you want to look for um, on this flower is for the stigma to be glistening, the stigmatic surface that's in the middle of the flower will be glistening and almost wet looking when it's receptive to pollen. So I'm not sure if that's going to be very um, visible on camera, but the stigma looks, um, you know, looks shiny, kind of wet. So we've got our paintbrush with the pollen on it. We're going to get here in the flower and apply that pollen to the stigmatic surface. So we're just kind of gently dabbing that on. And you can see pollen grains that are adhering to the stigma. So we have hand pollinated that flower. Um, if you have trees that are farther apart than this, you could actually break a flower off, like say this one was shedding pollen, and it's at a neighbor's house. Just break it off, put it in a Ziploc bag, and take it to where you want to hand pollinate your tree. So that's a little bit about how to hand pollinate pawpaws. If you have any questions, just email me at sherry, S-H-E-R-I, dot crabtree c-r-a-b-t-r-e-e -E, at k-y-s-u dot e-d-u thank you